core components are out of the box components that are shipped with Experience Manager and it's highly recommended to use them either as is or extending them to speed up the overall component development process. To use components, core components, you need to create proxy components. In this section of the video, you're going to learn how to create proxy components in AM and override core components by following best practices that Adobe recommends. In this video, we're going to extend the core text component, also known as the rich text editor, as it is most widely and frequently used component that nearly caters all types of requirements associated with text editing and provides what you see is what you get text editing experience. So to demonstrate how to extend a core component, we're going to go to the we retail section under apps, components, content, and we're going to create a new component underneath content. So now under content, we're going to create a proxy component. We're going to do so by clicking create, create component. We're going to change the title to my text. And we're going to use this for both the label and the title. And then under description, it's my proxy rich text editor component. Notice the super type is core WCM components text v2 text. And then the group is uh, we retail. So now here we can see my text. And looking at the properties, it's pointing back to core WCM components text v2 text. We look under that, we see that we have this text component right here, v2. Now the question is how to get this new component into the Wii Retail. To do this, we've got to go to Tools and then click Templates. Now we're going to open up the Wii Retail folder and we can see all of our editable templates for this um, site. So what we want to do at this point is to open up one of these editable templates and then allow the component to be added to it by using the policy. So we're going to open up the hero page template. That's the one we want to add our new component to. So we're going to select it and then we're going to edit it. Now that we're in the uh, editable template, we're going to go down to the loud components. We're going to click on it and we're going to click um, policy. And then we're going to go down to We Retail. We're going to make sure our component's showing up there. There it is, my text. So it's already part of the um, the loud components. So this is always a good practice to do when you're introducing new components. Is to go to the um, policy and to make sure, double check that your component is there as shown here. Then click the uh, Done button and we're good. Now we're going to go into the actual um, page. So we're going to go to sites. We're going to go to We Retail, United States, English, the man page. We're going to edit it. An important thing to make sure before we use the component in our site is to look at the component and make sure there's no script under that. So certainly make sure there's no JSP. That's going to affect your um, component so that it's not going to render properly in your site. So in this case, we deleted it. We don't need any script there. It's pointing right back to the super component. So now let's go back to um, the man page. So what we want to do is enter in the or drag the um, drag the component. So here we see it right here. My text. We'll drag it into the um, page. There it is. My text, and then we can enter it right here. So we've added, hello, this is our core proxy component. So this is now showing that our core proxy component is functioning within the WeRetail site.